I quite often will have Apache installed on uh, most of my computers, uh, if not to serve up uh, websites, but to serve up files in many cases. Um, in a main case, I have my Pogo plug in the other room, which is a small, cheap, little Linux um, s file server. I removed the original firmware and have Debian installed on there. And uh, most of the time I use it for SSHing into, and I have uh, screen running most of the time, have applications running. But uh, I also have it as uh, a place to store files that I can easily access with my phone and tablet. And um, by default, when you install Apache uh, using, um, you know, sudo apt-get or aptitude install uh, Apache, or if you install it through another package manager, uh, Debian system, I'm pretty sure by default the index uh, is enabled. If not, there's configuration files. You can Google that real quick to enable an index like this. Um, which is great, you know, it shows you the names and the last modified size and description, and you can organize stuff, uh, you know, clicking on this or click it by name or by size, however you want to organize it, and you can go up directories. It's not the prettiest, though, and also uh, on a tablet, you got to make, you got to constantly be zooming in every time you move to a new folder, zoom in to be able to click on one of these small links. Uh, Today I'm going to show you uh, an option to uh, make uh, this a little bit prettier and uh, a little bit nicer and give you some more functionality out of this and it's really, really simple. Um, I found this project online, H5AI, uh, HTML5 uh, Apache Index, although it works for other web browsers as well. Um, and if you go to the link right here, which is... Uh, L-A-R-S-J-U-N-G dot D-E forward slash, well, if you just go there, you can click on the link for H5AI, uh, but I'll uh, try to remember to put a link in the description of that. This guy has some other projects here, some of which are incorporated into this project, and it's basically um, just makes this a whole lot nicer, uh, and it's very, very simple. It has instructions right here on the page, but I'm going to go over that right now. So first thing we need to do is download it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and say uh, copy link as. Currently it looks like he's at version 0 0.24.0. Um, and uh, once I have the URL, I can go into my terminal here. Uh, on Debian systems, once you have Apache installed, the default folder for your web browser is um, var www. And uh, we will download the files of that folder. You'll need permission to do that, so we'll use sudo, and we'll say sudo wget. I'll paste in the URL for that zip file. And it shouldn't take very long to download. It's about a half a megabyte. And there it is listed. You can actually see it now. If I refresh this page, it's right there. So it's in this directory. And I am, again, going to use sudo um, unzip, and I'm going to unzip that file which creates a new folder right here and also uh, uh, includes a license file and a readme file, uh, which if we scroll down here, you can see that it's under a MIT license. Uh, so is open source uh, and it is uh, 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 GPL compatible. Also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this works with Apache, but it also works with uh, um, other browsers as well, such as Cherokee and uh, light HTPD. Um, so if you're using one of these, you're good to go as well. And they give separate directions on how to get set up. But once you unzip it, there's only one more, well, two more steps to do. Uh, and since we're using Apache, we're going to modify, you can either modify the HT access of a particular directory if you just want this to affect certain directories. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in what he says here is the httpd.config file. Um, but uh, by default on Linux, you're probably going to want to put this in the uh, Apache config file. So if I sudo, uh, and I'm going to use vim as my text editor, use whatever text editor you prefer, uh, etc apache2 apache2.config, and I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to take what he has right here, uh, directory index, index.html, index.php, and then I'm going to basically point it uh, to where that file is. Um, so what this is saying here is for the index of all folders, basically when the browser is looking for 
uh, an index.html or an index.php, which are the defaults that it looks for. It's going to basically forward it to your root directory, but it's the root directory of the web uh, server, not of your computer. And all the way down, this is basically what we just unzip. So you paste that one line in there, save that file, and then sudo etc initd apache. And I know there's something else you can type to do this. Uh, this is just how I've always done it. Restart. Give it a few seconds. It will restart. And now let's go back here. So this is what it looked like before. If I refresh now, this is what it looks like now. Uh, we have our files. Nice. It ha gives everything little uh, icons here. We can control the size of our icons. We control whether we want a detailed look, a grid look, an I just an icon look. Um, looks. Uh, I haven't even tried this, a filter, so I guess I can just start typing. Oh, yep, and it will filter out the files. That's nice. I didn't even notice that until just now. I've only been playing with this for uh, a few minutes before I decided to do a tutorial on it because I thought it was great. You also notice when I'm hovering over files here, uh, you'll see a little QR barcode down at the bottom. Now that's part of this guy has another project that generates uh, QR codes and he's incorporated into this that I can hover over these files and take a picture of that QR code and open up my phone. Now right now I'm going to local host so it wouldn't work but if I typed in a domain name or the IP address to this computer which we'll do here in a moment I would be able to take a picture of that uh, with some with a QR code scanner on my phone and open up these files on there. So we have this nicer look on the side here we have um, you know a, a quick you know a quick search uh, basically a, a tree view is what I'm trying to say. Um, if it's a text file and you click on it, it brings it up in a nice little viewer like this. I can skip to the next file, and these are the files that came with it. Um, again, different icons for different types of files, uh, PNG files, JPEG files. So, I mean, it, it's, it's beautiful. A lot more, a lot nicer than it was before. And it works great with mobile devices. Uh, when I brought it up on my phone, big you know icons to click on easily scrollable it, it fits to the screen properly uh, and as I said I installed this on my pogo plug running Debian just before I started doing this tutorial and if I go there um, here I am I can see these files and again I got the QR code and now that I actually typed in the uh, IP address of the server rather than local host I could take a picture of this with something that's a, some sort of QR code scanner on my phone with my phone's uh, camera and it would open up the link to that file because you can see as I scroll over the different files it automatically generates a QR code for it. I think this is just a great project. I said the, again the guy has other projects one of which being is the QR code here. Um, so check out his site, check out this. Uh, I recommend it. This is great you know uh, nothing built in for uploading files uh, to it uh, but I don't really like that in the web interface. I like uh, if most part when I'm doing stuff on my own personal server like this I'm copying files over uh, using SSH um, although you could incorporate some sort of HTML file upload uh, and again if you put an HTML file into uh, here anywhere it will work just like an HTML file uh, like if I go into here and then I click on here and then I'll click on this and it opens it up this is from another tutorial I did so I mean your web page is still going to act the same, it's just affecting um, your index, your folder views. And a lot nicer than the default, and again good for mobile devices, tablets, phones, and makes your own little cloud experience a little bit nicer rather than giving your files over to a server somewhere else that you're not in control of. Install Apache, install this, and you have a great little, little interface. So I hope you enjoy this. Again, uh, this project is called H5AI, and uh, the guy's site is L-A-R-S-G-U-N-G dot D-E. Uh, I actually found this through GitHub, I believe, so it is on GitHub. I'm pretty sure that's where I originally found this, just looking for something like this, and this is the first one that I came across that's really, really nice. And... Um, uh, as always, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you uh, go and check out this guy's site. Maybe uh, 
you know, let him know how you enjoy it. Maybe, uh, you know, donate something to him for his project. If you want to donate, you can also donate to me on my website. That's always nice. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, be sure to subscribe. And I hope you visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great